What uh, Marathon sees as the importance of Dress for Success and the reason we're such big supporters is you're making such a difference in our community. Uh, you are providing underserved women with uh, an opportunity to transform their lives, to uh, go out and get a job, and not just get a job, but build a career. And so as uh, one of our key values, to be a good corporate citizen, we want to support great organizations like Dress for Success, and we applaud what you've been doing for the last 15 years and want to see you continue to do that. You know, I think a big part of what uh, we see as extremely valuable in Dress for Success is you focus a great deal on not just the dress and the job, but it's the educational uh, support, it's the uh, financial literacy support, it's health and wellness. Uh, you really are looking at uh, helping the entire individual. It's not just about the job. It's not about that first job. It's about the long-term impact you've had in, in improving our community and giving people a chance they otherwise wouldn't have. Dress for Success is not only helping women enter the workforce, it actually reduces our carbon footprint within the city by recycling suits so others can succeed. I've chosen to donate several of my own suits and professional attire to Dress for Success Houston because I want to give a helping hand to women who are on the pathway to self-sufficiency. Happy 15th anniversary. I have so many fond memories of the early days of Dress for Success. One particular day I remember getting in my car. I'm a busy professional. I've got young children at home. And I remember walking in and I felt this sense of, wow, this is going to be incredible. Walking into that first board me meeting um, in this donated space and hearing, you know, the story, the passion that, that Nancy and, and Susie really felt for what they were doing. And as a marketing communications professional, as someone in public relations, I felt that I could help tell that story. There is great joy and love and passion when a community comes together and really impacts a world. And that's what Dress for Success has done. The budget was non-existent um, 15 years ago. Nancy worked without a salary. That first $20,000 donation from Sylvie and Gary Crum launched Dress for Success. Of course, we miss two of our founding members, Larry Jones and Bobby Sue Kahn. I am extremely proud to be a founding board member of Dress for Success. When I first heard of the idea of um, Dress for Success, I thought what an absolutely spectacular idea and how necessary it was because I knew what we were doing at the Women's Center and I thought this, this really adds that needed component and I thought there was an excitement in the air that uh, the founders of Dress for Success were going to make it happen. We had a handful of women that said, I'm going to do Dress for Success and we're behind it 110%. So the biggest thing I think that my influence had is I used my media positioning to brand Dress for Success and let people know all about the message of Dress for Success, what it was, what we were doing, and that I was behind it at 110%. And if I was going to do 110% of something, that they need to, to do it with me and do it with all of us. Because you're inspired on so many levels, personally and professionally, to do better and do your best. And that's what Dress for Success is all about. Women are the anchors of families, even in Houston, even in the 21st century, even in America. And, and making, empowering women and giving them that sense of self-confidence and having a job that is steady and that they know how to manage and, and giving them financial literacy that enables them to use that money intelligently and effectively and to be able to save for the future. All that is enormously important, not just materially for their own kids, but also psychologically as a model for the kids growing up and seeing what it means to be successful in, in, in the capitalist world of the 21st century. It's a whole network, it's a whole combination of what, what sociologists call social capital, a set of friends, a set of, of people who, who are there to help, a, a set of lessons and, and, and learnings that, that give people more and more of a sense of empowerment and a sense of understanding of how to manage money, how to present oneself, how to acquire new knowledge that is just central to uh, giving people opportunities in this global knowledge economy that is the 21st century. 
They have a network of women and men out there who are there and they're allowed to know that they are there for them, that they are not alone, that they have a resource that they can go to to support them, not only support them by giving them a soup, but support them mentally. Because a lot of the education a lot of people forget comes not only here, not just with that soup, but in their minds. And once they realize that they are not alone and that someone is there to hold their hands and tell them it's going to be okay. What has always attracted me to the programs of Dress for Success has been the fact that Dress for Success goes right to uh, really critical aspects of uh, women's employment, of their ability to find a job, to secure the job, and to hold the job, and to be functional in the job. And it's an organization that wells together the programs of uh, other organizations. Uh, Dress for Success is receiving referrals from 175 other organizations in the Houston area. So the reach uh, and the reinforcement of Dress for Success uh, are attractive aspects. That is providing opportunity, providing access, providing dreams and hopes to people who may not have it, the, the, the full opportunity. So giving them suit is of course um, a, a, an appearance related thing, but it is very meaningful because you have to look your best. You have to have the confidence when you walk in for that interview. You're dealing with other candidates where you have to look very competitive. And I know it's not just about the way they look, that they have good clothes. I think it's about the confidence they feel that uh, they can compete with anybody for any task and succeed. From the time they walk in the door, with a little bit of trepidation, uncertainty, and once you get that suit on them, you turn them toward the mirror, that's a feeling that you cannot replace with anything else. It's hard to believe the current space, the warehouse, that warehouse, half the size of it, is how much the original store occupied, how much space, 1,500 square feet. When I walk into this building, the third building that we've had, I feel minuscule. I feel absolutely a minor, minor particle of all of this. In the beginning, I think that we all had the feeling, if we don't do it, who will do it? And now the city has embraced the whole concept. We no longer have to explain who Dress for Success is. The city has embraced it and supported it. And we've had some amazing donors over the years that have stuck with us the whole time. So uh, yes, I'm amazed that I am a part founder, but I'm also minor compared to what has been accomplished. I left Cuba as a political refugee in 1961. When I arrived in this country, I encountered a very different world, and I needed someone, a little push, a little black dress, a suit, and eventually I got it. 15 years ago, I became a Dress for Success founding board member. And from time to time, my memory goes back and I think I am dressed for success, first client. I'm very proud of it. And this is a fantastic organization. The word that comes always to mind when I think of Dress for Success Houston is gratitude. I am grateful for the clients I meet each day who impact my life in so many ways. I'm grateful for the staff and volunteers who daily deliver our mission with dignity and respect. I'm grateful for the generosity of our donors who enhance thousands of women's lives each year by supporting our programs. I'm grateful for the men and women who serve on the board of directors who are committed to improving women's lives and the lives of their children by helping them land a job and build a career. I'm grateful to the extraordinary women who embraced a vision and founded Dress for Success. And I am grateful for this stunning facility. It continues to be a place of life-changing experiences for all of us. And on a deeply personal level, every morning my first prayer is one of gratitude. Gratitude that I don't feel like I have a job. I have a passion for the work we do. 
It is a passion many of you share. Lastly, I remain grateful for a city like Houston, where we are true agents of positive community change, and for each of you for making that change happen. So happy 15 year anniversary dress for success. Houston, I plan to be grateful each and every day I'm associated with this amazing organization. If I could sum up Dress for Success Houston in one word, it would be possibilities. Empowerment, self-confidence. The one word is effective. Inspiration. Opportunity. Community. Hope. Learning. Self-esteem. Safe haven for the women in need of Houston. Transformation. A gift. Nurturing. Respect. 